everybody to know about this air fryer who's looking for an air fryer on the market. One good thing about this air fryer is that the basket inside is a ceramic non-stick coating, so it makes it easier to clean. Uh, the second thing about this air fryer is it has a 60 minute timer. Most air fryers on the market, they only have 30 minutes. Uh, you know, especially with the research that I found, it's mostly 30 minutes. This is the only one. And the third thing about it is the capacity of this air fryer. It's large. Like I said once before, it's a 5.3 quart. It's 1,700 watts. And um, it's one of the best ones out there, you know. Um, in my opinion. Okay. What you want to do is you want to oil your chicken. You can use whatever oil you like. You can use olive oil. You can use canola oil. It doesn't matter. Just whatever you prefer. I like to use canola oil. And so what I do is I oil my chicken. So I stir it around. Make sure it's all oil just right. All of it's covered with oil. And then, excuse me guys, I'm going to go for a paper towel. Get all this oil off my hands. And then you want to, I have over here, here's my seasonings. I got garlic powder, paprika, onion powder, parsley flakes, chicken seasoning, here's pepper, and salt. So, what I do is I salt and pepper my chicken. So, as I pepper it, I stir it around to make sure it's all coated with pepper. And a little salt. For flavor and I use a little chicken seasoning for flavor I don't use too much just sprinkle a little bit just all you gotta do is not really you know I can't really tell you exactly how much you use or how many tablespoons of this just make sure that you individually season each meat you know with uh, your seasonings. Now, I like the parsley flakes. I like to put that on my chicken for color, for flavor. Just stir it around. The goal is to make everything look good. You want to season it. I like my food to look like restaurant. Like, you know how you go in the restaurant and everything looks pretty and everything looks good. and You know. And I like... Next, I'm going to use paprika. I love pe paprika because paprika, people... Some people don't realize this, but it not only does it give your food color, but it does flavor your food. And I think that's one of the secrets that restaurants use is paprika on different meats and so I like the paprika in it and then I got garlic powder and onion powder to go and here's a uh, onion powder onion powder it gives it real good flavor stir it around you don't have to use a lot just as long as you covered the food you just don't leave nothing no chicken out and then, here's garlic powder. Okay. Put the garlic powder on your chicken. And now, once you've got all your seasons on it, 
you want to toss it around and make sure everything's coated just right. And there you go. Ain't that amazing? And that's beautiful. Okay, now I have the chicken prepared to go into the air fryer. So I'm going to pretty much pull out my air fryer basket. And I'm going to show you guys the capacity, how much chicken this can hold and cook at one time compared to anything else out there on the market. You don't have to oil it because it's a ceramic nonstick. So I take my chicken and I place my chicken in the air fryer. But I'm going to show you how I place, place it to make sure you get as much as you can. You see how I place the chicken? You see right here where I got this going this way and this chicken going that way. I've already got four pieces of chicken in this air fryer and most of the ones on the market, that's as much as you can get in, you know, a basket, air fryer basket. But notice that these pieces of chicken are large. These are large drumsticks. These are not just really, you know, little small drumsticks. These are pretty large. And look how I can get in here. See so far how many I got? I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven already. Seven drumsticks. And now, see, that's eight. I got eight drumsticks in here. This air fryer. And you know what? I got one more leg. And I'm going to show you how I can get it in there. Look. Fit right in there. See? And so I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got nine large drumsticks that I'm going to put in this air fryer all at one time. That's one of the amazing, amazing things about this air fryer. It's amazing what it can hold. How much food you can get done quickly. And this chicken, usually with chicken, guys, I usually can cook chicken anywhere. It depends on the size from 30 to 40 minutes. It just depends on the size of the chicken. But when I cook chicken, I usually set my chicken at 360. That's the temperature I cook my chicken. So one thing about an air fryer is when you cook Whenever you cook in it, you have to flip it over. So what I do is I'll set my air fryer for the chicken, I'll set it for at least 40 minutes, okay? Halfway through cooking it, I'll flip it over. And then I finish it off on the other side. So you have to remember that with the air fryer, you have to flip over your food, okay? So I'll turn it on. Set the timer. Right now, I'm going to set it for 40 minutes at 360. And halfway through its cooking, I'll flip the chicken over and I'll come back. And I'll show you, you guys how I flip it over and how it looks. As, uh, you know, the process of cooking this chicken. And let you see, because I think that if you want to invest in an air fryer and you want to eat healthier and... Uh, you want to get food cooked quicker and you want your food to be more tender and juicy you won't go wrong and invest in this air fryer uh, I've never done videos before but this is my first video and I feel so passionate about this air fryer that I had to do one because you know I've had like I said before I've done different I've had I bought different excuse me different air fryers, but this is the best one out there on the market. Um, I've done, uh, you know, I've researched a lot on air fryers, and what I love about this air fryer, inside the air fryer, where the basket is at, it's stainless steel, and that's what's amazing about it. That's one of the things I left out. It's stainless steel inside the air fryer. And if y'all don't mind, I want to show you something. The great thing about this air fryer is why it's cooking, you can look inside, check out your food, close it back, 
and it you, you don't hurt the process of cooking. It's not going to, you know, like you don't have to reset it or anything. You know, you can still open it up, look inside, um, check out the food and look at it and see, you know, if you need to cook it a little bit longer. You can look at it and still close it back up and it won't disturb the process of whatever you're cooking. And, but one thing I've never told y'all, I want y'all to see the stainless steel inside. You know, most air fryers are not stainless steel inside. But Paula Dean, she had hers created or, you know, make it stainless steel inside. And the reason I think that she decided to do that, even though a lot of air fryers in the market, there's no air fryer in the market that's stainless steel inside. But I think the reason she did it, because it helps hold the heat. It helps hold the heat inside so your food can get done faster. And I think that's one of the smartest things that I've seen so far with this air fryer. And see how I just closed it back up and start up again. So, you know, I'll come back in a minute after the food gets halfway done, guys, and I'll show you how it looks and I'll flip it over for you, you guys and let y'all see the process of cooking and chicken in the air fryer. Thanks, guys. Hey guys, the chicken is done. It turned out really good. You know, like I was saying about this air fryer earlier, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I, I think it's amazing. I love its large capacity. You know, it can cook more food at one time. I like the timer on it. The timer is 60 minutes. Most air fryers on the market are 30 minutes. So it allows, it allows me to have more time to cook something without having to restart it, you know, or reset it over again. Uh, I like the temperature. It goes up to 400. Uh, the air basket uh, for this particular air fryer is made out of ceramic. It's a ceramic nonstick, so it, it's easier to clean. It's, it's more convenience. It's, 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 it's. It's less work. It just, you know, you put anything in it that you want to cook. You set it, you walk away, you forget about it. The timer goes off, it's ready. It's, it's, it's that simple. It can't get no simpler than that. So, you know, I really like it. If you're looking for an air fryer and you want something, you know, with some of the specs that I was telling you about in this video, I mean, give it a try. I mean, you know, it's a one-year warranty um, on this particular air fryer. You know, I got it from evine.com. Um, I'll leave a link in the description box and just check it out. And uh, it's really a great air fryer.